What's up everybody, RetroPie guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to go in and manually adjust your resolution settings in RetroPie for 4K TVs. If you have a 4K TV, you may be experiencing some issues with games lagging or running poorly. You may even have audio cutouts from time to time. The reason you're experiencing these issues on a 4K TV and not regular TVs is because the resolution settings within RetroPie allow for your TV or monitor to choose the preferred resolution, which on a 4K TV is going to be 4K resolution. Unfortunately for these retro games that are anywhere from 15 to 40 plus years old, 4K resolution is just too much for these games to handle. So we need to manually adjust our resolution settings in RetroPie when using a 4K TV. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into our RetroPie configuration settings page here. It's usually our landing page once we've fully booted up our system. So we'll go ahead and select A. Now we're going to jump down to Raspberry Pi configuration. <laughs> Now you can do this with either a keyboard or your regular gamepad controller. Your um, selection is going to be a little bit different than your other pages on the um, system here. So in order to select, we are going to have a different process here. So we're going to pick our second option here, which is display options. Now to select this, we're going to use our D-pad. We're going to go with D-pad right. So it turns blue. And now you can see that the select option at the bottom is highlighted in red. Now instead of hitting A like we usually do throughout our system, we're actually going to hit B here. Now we're going to take our first option here, which is resolution. So we'll do the same thing, D-pad right to select. Now hit B to confirm. So now you can see our default setting for screen resolution is monitor preferred resolution. What that means is, is the system is allowing our monitor or TV to dictate which um, resolution um, our system is going to be outputting. So in the case of a 4K TV, it's actually asking our system to give it 4K resolution. With these games being older, anywhere from 15 to 40 plus years old, they obviously can't handle this um, new resolution setting. So we actually have to go down and manually override that by selecting a different option. So there's all these options here. We can actually select any of these. Um, there's different screen sizes. There's there's a bunch of different options. So for today, I'm just going to pick the, um, we'll go with, uh, let's see, 1920 by 1080. So to select that, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go D-pad right until it turns blue. Hit B to confirm. It's going to say the resolution is set to CEA mode 16. Depending on which resolution you select, the mode's going to look a little bit different here. Um, nothing important here you can just hit OK so now that's all we have to do so we're gonna go down to um, finish so you see that's highlighted in red we'll hit B again now it's gonna ask us to reboot I'm gonna select no just so I don't lose my um, video feed here for this video but go ahead and select yes what it's gonna do is it's gonna power down your system and reboot it I'm just gonna select no here and um, actually go in and just restart emulation station. So your system will fully boot down and then restart. You'll load in your emulation station ROMs here, just like my screen here is showing you. All right, so we fully rebooted our system. We're just gonna verify that the changes were made correctly. So we'll jump into our RetroPie configuration settings again. We'll jump down to Raspberry Pi configuration. And now we'll jump back into display options, resolution. And we can see here that we're in that mode 16, 1920 by 1080, which is what we selected. We're no longer in that default monitor preferred resolution setting at the top. So this is going to solve our 4K TV issue with RetroPie. We're no longer having our 4K TV ask our RetroPie to, to give us 4K resolution because the games just can't handle it. Now, if you went and you did your reboot and you got a black screen, or maybe you got a rainbow kind of colored screen that eventually went black, don't pull your hair out, you didn't corrupt your card, you didn't do any irreversible damage to anything here. 
just take your HDMI cable out of the current port that you're in on the side of your Raspberry Pi 4 and plug it into the other HDMI port. I spent a lot of time the first time I did this um, banging my head against the wall figure, trying to figure out where I went wrong thinking I just totally corrupted my card. You just have to switch that HDMI cable to the other port. As soon as you do that, you at, by the time you actually do it, you'll probably already be back to your um, landing page within your system. It's a super easy fix, nothing to get stressed out about. Um, so hopefully that helps you if you do run into that problem. This should solve all your 4K TV issues with RetroPie. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of tutorials relating to the Raspberry Pi and RetroPie systems, um, as well as gameplay demos and future updates, a lot of different um, theme options, just a lot of great content in general. And of course, you can find us online at www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.